and welcome to The Gilded Eye. My name is Quintessa and I'm here to provide you with a reading for us to see what is your shadow side trying to tell you. Now I usually go by Miss Q but recently I've just been feeling like why not use my real name? So to reintroduce myself, my name is Quintessa. If you are new here, um, please subscribe to the channel. I do provide free live readings randomly throughout the week. So if you subscribe, you'll get a notification of when I go live and we'll be able to talk and chat then. With that being said, pause the video, take a moment to take a deep breath in and out. For us to see which group you will choose. Group one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So if you chose group one, we have the full reversed. Your shadow side wants you to know that there may be something that you have tried to start. There may be some kind of new beginning that you tried to embark on that has not quite yet came to full fruition. And th uh, this part of you just wants you to know that it's okay. It's part of a process. So let's see what's really going on inside of you, group one. We have the Magician Reverse. So with the Fool and the Magician Reverse, it tells me that you may have a tendency to start projects and not see them through. There are always new things that you are trying to do. Um, you're always trying to decide between which project you should start. What should you put your energy into? You're never quite sure of which direction to go in life. And this causes a lot of anxiety for you. And it also just, you know, brings disappointment in the fact that there are just some things that you've never quite finished, that have never seen an end to, um, that have never, has never been able to reach its full potential. Um, but your shadow self wants you to know that it's okay. This process that you have gone through throughout your entire life of never being able to quite decide on anything um, is to build you up so that when you will reach a point one day where all of the all of this that you have experienced in you know not being able to decide not knowing what to do those experiences teach you how to listen to your intuition and you are reaching a point, you will reach a point one day where you're able to listen to your gut without a second thought. There are also some things, you know, you try to rush through. Um, you may be impatient. Um, you don't give time for things to flourish and grow after you've put in some effort to it. So the message is for you to try and practice patience in your life, group one. 
going to pull some final cards. Yes, practicing patience will bring you stability. It will help you to... Um, this stability will also bring happiness to you, joy and comfort. You may suggest, you know, trying to wear more yellow or even working, doing some work on your solar plexus. Uh, it's the area in your stomach. The middle of your stomach, energy work there, will help you to have more self-assurance and confidence in yourself to be able to make decisions and to follow through on things. Sometimes there are also things that you just quite can't understand and it frustrates you. Or maybe you just come off as someone who was misunderstood People never seem to understand who you are or where you're coming from in some situations. We have to look at the challenges that we experience as lessons for us to grow. So in you being misunderstood throughout your life, that is to help you uh, to work on your throat chakra so that you can learn to express yourself more and to be yourself more, regardless of what other people think and regardless of um, how they see you. And the final message for my personal deck, intuition is a quiet knowing. Anxiety is loud, disturbing, and unrelenting. Now that really brings the reading together. If you find yourself trying to make a decision, feel and see how, what is the state of your energy in? If you are constantly bombarded by thoughts and are trying to figure out what to do and are super anxious, um, maybe that's a sign that you need to take some time to yourself to quiet down in order to finally decide how you want to move and to make the decision. So I hope that was a helpful reading for you to kind of get a confirmation about things that you need to work on, things that your shadow self wants you to know and wants to reassure you about group one. If that was helpful, please like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers so that I can live stream from my phone, which would be pretty awesome. So with that being said, I'll see you next time. Stay golden. Hey group two, welcome to your reading. You chose the seven of cups. So this card tells me that Oftentimes, you are faced with feeling a wide variety of many emotions. You probably get overwhelmed by things very easily. And maybe you also just have a lot going on in your life all the time. You never seem to have time to rest mentally or emotionally. And you might find yourself always on the go. Your mind is always thinking. You're always feeling many different things. On the flip side, you could also always have many opportunities being presented to you of which you're not sure um, how to choose from. Or maybe you find yourself accepting offers all the time you may not be able to say no to taking opportunities or to just say no to people in general. All right, group two, let's see. What does your, ooh.
what does your shadow side want to tell you? All right, so this was from group one. Let me put that over here. All right, we have the Empress reversed. So because of all these different emotions, uh, this roller coaster of emotions and things that you feel all the time, or even because of your inability to say no to people and opportunities, you may find yourself feeling off balanced. You may not quite be yourself. Maybe you even feel that you don't truly know who you are all the way. You feel like there is more to you waiting to be unlocked. Page of Cups Reverse. This card tells me that it tells me more about your emotions and how you are not in touch with yourself and how you feel about things. That beep tells me that this is something that's very important that your shadow side wants you to be aware of. When you feel emotions come out of nowhere, you need to pinpoint your triggers and see what exactly is causing you to fall off balance. This is the main way for you to finally achieve equilibrium in your life. If you don't know where it's coming from, how can you fix it? You are strong. You have been through a lot. And this roller coaster that you constantly experience is not something that many could go through. But somehow you are able to survive this and live your life on a day to day basis. Something uh, of which you should be very proud of yourself for a group two. You may also find yourself feeling like you don't have a choice in a lot of the things that have happened to you in your life. And that things may, because of this, things may be unfair. But the main message that your shadow side wants you to know is that, and I don't say this to mean that Things happen to you to teach you a lesson because sometimes they do, right? Um, it's hard to say that when we experience certain trauma, um, it's very difficult and touchy to say things like that. But in some situations, what can apply is the fact that the things that happen to you are a mirror of what you have projected onto others or just onto the world. So it's good to really look at situations and see when it happens, ask yourself, is there something that I did to cause this situation? Have I done something like this to someone else? Pull some final messages. You are someone who is not very patient. When you are presented with these opportunities, you need to take time to stop and think about if you should go along with them or not. You need to probably be patient with other people. Maybe you have a short 
confused and are prone to anger, prone to emotional outbursts. I would say for you to have a little more patience with yourself and with other people. Maybe you take all these opportunities because you feel like there isn't enough adventure in your life, that your life is boring, and you want to try to spice things up. Um, but your shadow side wants you to know that Fun times will come to you in due time. And sometimes you don't need to uh, make a situation out of nothing. I get the feeling that you may be prone to attracting drama or may find yourself always in some kind of drama, um, gossip, just things to do with other people. It may be somewhat exciting, but at the end of the day, it causes some kind of stress. So be wary of that. And for your final message, group two. We have, hold up. What exactly are you doing? So... Your shadow side wants you to look at yourself, look at the things you're doing. Your energy is off balance. You've been getting into a lot of different things. You need to stop and really just see, like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? What purpose does it serve me? What To what greater benefit is it serving? Is it serving me uh, any greater greater benefit. These are things that you need to ask yourself. So group two, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If so, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, you'll get a notification of when I go live for free reading. So I'll be able to get to know you then. With that being said, I'll see you next time. Stay golden. All right, if you chose group three, we have the chariot reversed. So something that your shadow side wants you to know is if you've been feeling like things have not been moving forward in your life, there's a reason for that. Maybe you've been feeling like you've been having a string of bad luck. Things may just not have been working out as they should in your favor. And your shadow side wants you to know that there is a reason for that group three. All right, let's choose some cards and see what else your shadow side has to say to you. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles. So this is something positive. Um, your shadow side wants to acknowledge that you are someone who is very ambitious. And um, even though things may not have been working out for you, you are always trying to do whatever you can uh, to work towards what you're working on right now. You're always trying to start something new. You're always full of ideas um, and trying to figure out ways to make opportunities for yourself to move forward financially in your life. So that's something that's really good, group three. You are someone who is super creative you are always trying to move ahead with um, expressing yourself. And if these things don't resonate all the way, that means that this is the energy that you are moving towards. So your shadow side wants you to know that you, you're capable of producing many great works, many great things of putting in energy into projects that 
uh, are going to see progress, that are really going to move forward, that are really going to be successful. And your shadow side wants you to know that you possess all of the skills and abilities you need to make your, pro uh, your projects successful. All right, so you're also really good at pacing yourself. Um, there are, you are able to work on many different things, uh, but you are able to maintain a balance. You know when to stop and look at situations and opportunities and know when to stop putting energy into them. You're able to intuitively know that and navigate around that. This is a really positive reading for you, Group 3. Usually, when we talk about the shadow side, it's to tell us things that we need to uh, work on. But I, this is really just a moment of praise for you. Let's see what else. You work really well with others. Um, and bring this synergy to any group or project that you work on. You're probably really good at networking and um, are able to connect with many people and you like connecting others together. All right, let's pull some Oracle cards. Courage. You are someone who is very brave. You have confidence in yourself. Um, you don't allow others to tear you down and to discourage you from completing the things that you need to do. In social situations, you hold your head up high and you aren't intimidated by other people easily. You've been through a lot in life and your challenges have taught you all of these um, different, have, have allowed you to gain all of these different characteristics that I'm speaking about. So everything that you've experienced has led you up to a point of where you're able to work with others well, you're able to manage your time, put in effort into projects, work on many different things at once and just be this creative, amazing person that you are. And for the final message, last thing. So we have trust the process reversed. And this very much goes with the chariot here. So everything else in the reading was super positive except these two cards. And I think that's just reassurance for you, group three, to know that Everything that you are working on right now is going to reach its peak. It's going to reach a point to where your energy, your efforts are going to pay off. But you have to trust the process. Things don't happen overnight and things happen in divine timing. So you just have to believe in yourself, believe in your spirit team, and know that you are being guided divinely directed to where you need to be, what you need to be doing, what you need to be saying at all times. So know that group three. Well, that was an amazing reading. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to my channel for more. I do free live readings every now and then, so if you subscribe, you'll get a notification of when I go live and I'll be able to meet you and get to know you more then. With that being said, I will see you next time. Stay golden. All right, so group four, welcome to your reading. Your shadow side wants you to know that it is okay to stop and think about what must be done. 
there's something going on in your life right now where you need to take a step back and make a decision. You need to take a step back and think about what to say. Uh, this is very important because it's something that really is going to lay a certain foundation for you. It is, ooh, those voices in the back in my apartment that tells me maybe you have a lot of different thoughts in your head. You have a lot of different opinions from others coming from many different places about what you need to be doing in life what you need to be doing just in general. There are a lot of opinions that come from many different places, basically. Your shadow side wants you to take some time to yourself so that you can think about things on your own, in your own energy, without being influenced or directed by anyone or anything. All right, group four, let's see. What else does your shadow side want you to know? All right, all of these different thoughts have had you feeling off balance. You are someone who usually feels on top of the world, but you just have not been feeling it lately. You definitely need to work on, do more work on your throat chakra which is your speaking, communication with yourself and others, um, your third eye, which is um, your confidence and your intuition and your ability to listen to your inner self and your crown chakra, which is your connection to your spirit guides and just overall sense of being connected to the universe, to God. So maybe you have not been feeling connected to the divine. Maybe you've not been feeling connected to a higher power. Um, and this is something that is really important for your shadow side wants you to work on. This is a connection with these three chakras, throat, third eye and crown, very much need to be worked on right now. So I would say you definitely need to take some time and go into meditation, group four. Maybe do some kind of yoga. If you are into any kind of astral projection or lucid dreaming, look into those things. Um, whatever it is that you feel like water gazing, Whatever it is that you feel like will connect you to your inner self, to your spirit team, that is something that you very much need to do. Very much. I'm getting that this is super important for you to know. Because it's really going to help you uh, achieve that zen that you've been wanting. Um, and you've had this moment before. You've been in this state before. And so now you're in a place where you're wondering, like, why am I not in this space right now? <clears throat> and you just know that things work in cycles, right? Um, things work in cycles as you elevate. It, it's just not, you know, you raise your vibration and it's just there. No, <clears throat> you still have to go through lessons. You still have to learn different things. And all of which are pretty much some of the same lessons, just in a different format. So these two fours in the reading, four of swords and four of cups, just tell me you, you are nearing the end of a cycle in which you are now creating a new foundation for yourself. Think of it as a spiral leading up. Um, or what's a better analogy? 
pools of waterfalls, or waterfalls leading into pools of water. I don't know, that's the best way I could describe it, but his disciples were waterfalls and the pools were the foundation that you sit on. You're towards the end of the waterfall leading to a pool. I promise you I am not high right now, <laughs> group four, but that is like the best way that I can describe what I'm thinking of. Okay, so think of that analogy, but also the waterfalls and pools are upside down. <laughs> okay, maybe you have a jokester side to you. I don't know. I'm feeling funny right now. But maybe you just need to also loosen up a little bit. Maybe that will help you. Um, if there's any energy that is stuck, having a laugh and just having good times can really loosen any stagnant energies. So let's see what else group four. All right, we have the devil. Sometimes you are tempted by things, maybe by drugs, since I just mentioned that. So you have temptations that throw you off balance. And it's important for you to recognize this and to actually put work into uh, remedying, making remedy to these temptations. We have an uplifting message for you. Once you're able to get back on your feet mentally and emotionally and get back into a state where your life is back flowing, a wish that you have been uh, looking forward to is going to be fulfilled. So use this as something, as a motivation for you to Get back into meditation for you to get into something that get into a hobby or something that will recenter yourself because this is definitely something that your shadow side wants you to know that you uh, you will be rewarded with once you overcome these things especially once you overcome that temptation All right, let's see some messages from the Oracle cards. All right, brighten. So when you are in that Zen state, you have the ability to brighten up a room and to really bring peace to other people, group four. You know, people who are the happiest often are those who experience the most pain. And I feel like that is something that very much describes you. You're someone who has been through a lot with this card. You're someone who has been through a lot, who shows a brave face through the things that you've been through. I had to come back my phone died and now it's later in the day so that explains the lighting difference but group four so get back to your reading you are someone that smiles through um the adversities and challenges that you experience you no matter what happens in your life no matter how challenging things get, you always figure out a way uh, to stay smiling regardless, to stay joyful, um, and to you try to have good interactions with others despite what you are experiencing. This is the final message for you, group four. We have ancestors, guardians, guardian spirits, and higher self. 
So your shadow self wants you to know uh, that you are protected through everything that you do. And they want you to know that um, as you begin to get deeper into yourself, to reach into yourself and reconnect, they want you to realize that the blood of your ancestors runs through you. So they are you and you are them. You literally are spirit, universal energies that exist here. The energies that we all long to connect with. So they want you, your shadow self wants you to know that as you begin to reconnect more with your higher chakras, as you begin to reconnect more with yourself, they want to affirm to you, even in the times that you don't feel that connection, while you are working on this, they want you to know that your spirit team is around you. They are protecting you. They are near you. And you are not alone. Group four. With that being said, I'm going to end the reading. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to my channel. I do free live readings every now and then throughout the week. So if you subscribe, you'll get a notification of when I go live. And we'll be able to talk and chat then. That being said, I'll see you next time, Group 4. Stay golden. All right, Group 5, welcome to your reading. Let's see what your shadow self wants to reveal to you. All right, so maybe you're in a space right now where you may find yourself saying things out of turn, saying things quickly. Well, you may not realize it, but your shadow self wants you to know that you probably have a tendency to speak out of turn, speak too quickly, Maybe you tend to say things at the wrong time. In certain conversations, the timing just doesn't seem to be right when you say certain things. Maybe you've also been feeling a little off balance mentally. Maybe you've been having racing thoughts and aren't able to catch up with them. There seems to be a lot that you want to share with others, that you want to share with the world that you may be afraid to speak up on, to speak out about. So let's pull more cards and see what does your shadow self want you to know, group five. Okay, we have a turn around the energy, King of Swords. So you having this experience of struggling to speak up, with struggling to speak out to others, this is to teach you how to communicate, how to speak up, how to express yourself in the first place. Because in the future, probably part of your career, you will be someone who speaks in front of large crowds. You may be someone um, who is the leader of projects um, in a team. Uh, you may be 
someone who's going to be able to provide counsel to others um, regarding decisions that hard decisions that they have to make. So you may be a counselor, act as a counselor for others. In the far future, people may come to you for advice because you are, uh, they see you as someone who has a lot of wisdom. This is the energy you are heading towards group four, I mean group five. Okay, we have the tower. So perhaps you've recently experienced something very traumatizing, uh, something that has been broken down and it may have, have been affecting you. Um, however, this situation something that's pushing you forward to want to do better in your life. Whatever it was that you recently experienced that you saw a breakdown of, um, this is the very thing that is giving you the momentum to move forward in your life and to be successful. So you are someone that takes situations and turns them around for their benefit. That's a really cool superpower to have, Group 5. Most people, you know, would wallow, but it seems that you're really just able to triumph, to triumph over tough situations. This card tells me that you may feel disconnected from your intuition at times. Um, maybe you feel that you aren't able to make decisions clearly. Um, I'm getting that in regards to whatever has happened to you recently, whatever situation that broke down it's caused some confusion for you in your life. However, some way, somehow, it is this very confusion and breakdown that's contributed towards the momentum that, that you have, the passion that you have to make something out of nothing. You maybe want to clear up this confusion. You're doing everything that you can to clear this up. You are definitely someone who definitely who moves forward in situations, even if you don't under you don't quite understand. You're someone that works through things. So as you are working through something that is challenging, you learn as you go and things clear up for you. So you're definitely someone who's able to learn on the go. Most definitely. All right, let's pull some oracle cards. Magic, wow. You may be very spiritual or maybe you're just into uh, things relating to fantasy, but your shadow self wants to acknowledge that you have, there's an energy, there's an air about you that has a magical presence when you are around others. When people are around you, they feel like they can do anything. They feel like they can accomplish anything. You are someone that when you enter a group, come around a group of people, there is a problem that is going on. You're that person who is able to break down the problem and help everyone else figure it out. You are able to, you're definitely a peacemaker. Someone who 
You may find yourself in situations where um, people are arguing, there's conflict going on, but you are someone that knows how to calm people down. And that might be because in the past you struggled with anger issues, you struggled with controlling your temper. <clears throat> it might still be something that <laughs> you're dealing with now. All right, let's get a final message for you, group five. Okay, so we have these bug in, I'm not gonna cuss. <laughs> but this card tells me that, yeah, you definitely may find yourself in Situations where there's some type of conflict or gossip going on. Um, you may find yourself in situations where people misunderstand you. Honestly, group five, your reading is like a combination of two of the other groups from earlier. I'm not going to say which, but if you chose another group that kind of sounds like this reading, it's, it's definitely meant for you to hear your shadow side wanting you to hear something. But yeah, so you may find yourself in situations where people don't understand you, people take things out of context with you, you find yourself having to calm people down. Or are you just able to really calm others down? You have a soothing effect on people. All right, group five. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. I do free live tarot readings throughout the week. So if you subscribe, you'll get a notification of when I'm live so that we can chat and talk about things. With that being said, group five, I'll see you in my next video. Stay golden. All right, group six, welcome to your reading. Let's see what your shadow side has to say to you. Okay, so we started off on a very positive note. You are someone that it's able to really connect well with others. Or it could be that all of your life you have been longing for a best friend, a soulmate, a relationship. This may be something that you've been longing for all your life. You've been hoping and wishing for. We all want to have someone or a group of people that we call our best friends, our super close buddies. But let's see what else your shadow side wants to reveal to you. All right, yes, we have the Three of Pentacles reversed. This tells me that you struggled with connecting with people. That is something that you find hard to do. Um, you may find yourself to be a little awkward in your interactions with others, or even that people don't quite um, just vibe with you all the way, or maybe you sometimes you feel that you're not vibing with others how you want. You may find that <clears throat> you reject certain groups or people in general because uh, it just feels like they're missing a certain connection that you are looking for. You may struggle with connecting with others emotionally and being vulnerable. It is kind of scary to, you know, open up and reveal 
emotions and things that we're feeling with people about people or situations that have hurt us. But for you, group six, it seems to be one of the main things that you struggle with. So maybe when you are meeting someone new or trying to build a friendship out of an acquaintance, you may have a wall put up. Um, and you might not even do it on purpose, but this is the energy that you possess. This is, if this is making friends, it's something that you've always struggled with. Um, this is definitely the reason why. So let's see a little bit more. Gonna have to keep shuffling some more. These cards are taking a while. Let's see. Okay, there we go. All right, and you know, you've always been wondering why it's just been weird for you. You've always been wondering why you just haven't been able to open up to others. It's like you feel like there is something holding you back from being your true self. And sometimes maybe you feel alone. Maybe you feel like an oddball. But your shadow self wants you to know that you have the potential to make the friends that you want to make. And to, uh, to attract these connections, the energy is here. Wow, it's definitely here. Um, there's definitely hope for you that you should keep in mind on the days. Keep the hope in mind on days when you feel alone and when you feel that you have no one to reach out to. Things are and will sink in your life for you to meet others, for you to meet those people even though this card is reversed the connection is still there right we see that so your connections are out there and you're just waiting on the right moment in time for you guys to align and i think that time will come when you're really just able to be open and honest with yourself and your emotions. So even though you may not know why it is, why it is you have a wall up against other people, a way that you can remedy that is by one going to see, um, going to therapy, or talking to a counselor to get down to deeper issues. But another that you could do right now is to acknowledge your emotions when they come and not to push them down. You may be the type of person that pushes your emotions deep down. You try not to feel anything. You try not to get too involved in how you feel about things or people. You just want to live your life. But... This is something that is really important for when it comes to establishing yourself, establishing your character, establishing your personality, how you come off to people. People can pick up on suppressed energies. 
So there are things that you need to acknowledge within yourself, group six. Let's pull some final cards. We have purity. So you're someone who has a pure heart. Oh, that's purify. You're someone that has a pure heart. Um, you have pure intentions with others. You try to really come off as, um, you try to be as genuine and authentic as you can with your interactions with others. <clears throat> so I can understand why you may feel frustrated about your inability to open up, connect with others and make friends because you already feel like you're being as authentic as you possibly can. But the question is, not if you are being genuine with others, but are you being genuine and authentic with yourself? So look at the ways in which you talk to yourself mentally. How is your self-talk? Are your thoughts pure with yourself? We have growth. You're experiencing this because it's an opportunity for you to grow. Even if this is something you have been experiencing your whole life, um, know that this is something that is preparing you for preparing you to forge very deep connections after you have healed. Right, so you would not be able to handle such a deep connection with others, whether that's a romantic partner or a best friend. I'm talking about a true, long-lasting, authentic relationship with someone or multiple people. You wouldn't be able to forge that unless you know knew what it was like to be without friendship. So just try to keep that in mind, but know that your opportunities for friendship are coming. And for your final message, group six, we have go for it. So there may be someone or even an activity or opportunity that you're interested in um, that you just have not put any effort into. And your shadow self wants you to go for it because this is going to be a start for you to really, you know, make friends and make those connections that you want. Don't worry if you're going to be awkward. Don't worry about if you're going to fail. Just do it scared, because if you don't do it at all, you'll be wondering your whole life what would have happened. So make that friendship shot. <laughs> if you have someone that you just see that you want to be friends with, take your shot. Like, you never know what could happen. The person that you make your friendship shot with could be looking for a friend too. And if it's an opportunity, you never know how that will turn out. You may find yourself meeting so many different people. So group six, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it was very helpful for you. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy and subscribe to my channel for more. I do free live random tarot readings throughout the week. So if you're interested, subscribe and you'll get a notification of when I go live. With that being said, I will see you in my next video. Stay golden. All right, my last and final group seven. Here we are. Let's see what your shadow side has to say. We have Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is still a very positive card. But it talks about 
it gives me the feeling of you may find yourself in a situation where all of the weight is on your shoulders. I'm not, I'm not sure why I'm randomly thinking this, but also you may find yourself, you make connections with people, right? But as soon as you move on from the connection, that is when you guys finally get close. So like, for example, maybe um, if you're in high school or something or college, whatever, you meet someone your sophomore year, maybe you're someone who's slow to opening up and this is just an example but as soon as it's time for you to graduate you finally see that you guys are getting closer and the opportunity is lost because you're graduated and it's time for you both to make your separate ways so you might find you may find yourself in that kind of situation you may find yourself in situations where it is time for things to end. It is time for you to move on to the next stage of things. But um, it just didn't quite complete in the way that it should. Like there was something hanging. There was something missing. There was something that was not said. You may find yourself in those kinds of situations. All right, group seven, let's see what your shadow self wants you to know. All right, there we go. All right. You are in a space where you are no longer waiting on something or someone. I think your shadow side wants to acknowledge to you that if you are, if you find yourself waiting on someone or something, not to do it. You may be someone who waits on things to happen um, but I'm reading this card as, let's see, what's another card? Okay. Four of Swords reversed. So, you may find that your shadow side wants you to no longer wait and to speak your mind about things. I, this is really spelling out more of a situation than actual characteristics about you. Um, it's kind of deviating from the reading, group seven, but I'm reading a situation. It looks like there's something that, there's something right now or someone that you're waiting for. You're waiting on something to happen. Your shadow self wants you to know that you are too much of a prize to be waiting like you are. And that if you have something that you want to say, then you should go ahead and say it. And this could just apply to your life in general. You know, you needing to speak up more. You needing to... It's interesting because one of my previous readings called for people to be patient, but I'm not saying this is the opposite, but I think you give people and situations um, too much time. So you don't need to wait on an opportunity or a person. What is meant for you will come to you, group seven. And it would be the best thing for you. This tells me that um, this is definitely something that um, you may have struggled with in your life. So 
you not speaking up and maybe you are someone that allows people to walk over it to walk over you uh, but you are getting out of that energy you're slowly getting out of that energy where I'm sorry to say but you might be kind of a pushover um, but your shadow side wants you to know that you are slowly making progress. And I keep just re having to say this again, but you are a prize. You are someone that is worth something. I really want you to know that. There's so much standing behind you. You have a lot of spirits standing behind you, group seven, that protect you and support you. There's a lot of energy behind you that protects and supports you and your dreams. All right, yeah, so you're definitely reaching a better point in your life now. You're getting out of that energy where you where you used to allow people to push you over. You're growing more into yourself. And your shadow self, they want you to be proud of that. Recognize that. All right, let's pull some more oracle cards. Enhance. You are someone that... One, you are glowing up. I immediately get that. You are going through a glow up phase, group seven. You have definitely been working on bringing stability to yourself. Um, you are someone who's really just trying to find more balance and peace within yourself so that you can work on projects and work on your career and finance. Your shadow self wants you to know that you bring uh, an added bonus to everything that you touch. You make things better. When you put your hands in certain projects, you're really able to take them to the next level. You may even find yourself helping friends and family members glow up. You, um, yeah, most definitely you're someone that helps people enhance their own lives, enhance their beauty, I'm getting. Because people are seeing the progress that you're making, so now they're asking you for tips. You are definitely somebody who has a huge team behind them. I don't know why I'm getting it. People may find you intimidating. Not you physically or your personality, but your energy. You're able to walk in a room and people can feel what's really behind you. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that noise outside, but yeah, they definitely feel, they feel the army that stands behind you. They feel the weight that you carry with you. And I mean that in a good way because you carry so much and give to others, group seven. 
Wow. I'm getting that maybe you've gone through a traumatic situation that has made you feel humiliated or less than. I don't want to trigger anyone, but if that is a situation that you've experienced, your shadow self wants you to know that those things, those negative things that you think about yourself are not true. You are someone who you are not dirty or useless or unworthy. Whatever these negative thoughts that you have, that's not you, group seven. Do not acknowledge them and rebuke them. Okay, because that is not you. You are definitely loved and worthy. It's like I said, there is so much behind you. You have so much potential behind you. You have so much support, spiritual support behind you to really accomplish your dreams. Wow, you seriously do group seven. So lastly, your shadow self wants to tell you to believe in yourself and to know that no matter what it is that you've been through, regardless of these thoughts that you have, that may be very um, damaging to your self-confidence, to your self-worth. Your shadow self wants you to know that you have the potential. Group seven. And the last thing, I actually got an extra card, is east side or west side. So this is a bonus thing. Looks like you're going to be making a decision about something soon. So that's something to keep in mind. It's just kind of a random tidbit out there. But group seven, I'm really getting the vibe of your spirit team just wants you to know that things will be okay. And that you can power through whatever it is that you are going through right now, no matter how big or small. The small things can bother us sometimes. And that's okay because it's the small things that have attachments to or triggers to the larger problems that we have underneath that we are we seem to ignore just feeling so much heavy energy with you group seven okay definitely you need to take the time out to do some meditation and journaling we're getting just the energy of chilling relaxing and maybe even doing some talking to yourself, chanting some mantras, some positive affirmations. All right, group seven, I think we're going to end your reading there. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe, you will get a notification of when I go live because I do free live tarot readings randomly throughout the week. So hopefully I'll see you during one of those videos. With that being said, I will see you next time. Stay golden.